Hey, this is Mead with AUSquared.com and I am back again with uh, some more art tips. Uh, today we're going to go over some dirt cheap easels um, and some alternatives to easels. Very few people that, that I know actually do use an easel. Most people have some sort of reference they're working with, they're working on abstract paintings, or um, they uh, they prefer to work on a large scale, so they have to kind of build their own custom easel. I'm going to show you how to do that um, in three or four different ways. All right, let's get to it. All right, this first way is uh, about the simplest way you can do it. You take a couple of screws, a couple of two by fours, lean them up against the wall, and put the screws in there, separate, and put your canvas on there. So let's do it. All right. This is the method that you're going to use for uh, small canvases. And this changes depending on whether you want to uh, sit down or stand up. I prefer to stand up. Maybe. So here I'll set the angle. Separate the boards a little bit. grab my canvas, there you go. That's a easel that's good enough to uh, do a painting on. It's pretty sturdy, it's not going anywhere. Uh, you can, you know, abuse it pretty well. Um, so that is method number one. Let's go over method number two. This method is what you're gonna use when you're working on larger stuff. So I'm gonna pop these screws out. And uh, this time, let's say I'm working on a large drawing or something like that, and, uh, and I want a good support for it. So um, what I'll do is I'll make a, uh, make a crossbar just like a standard easel and drill it to these two boards. That easel is done. This will cost you about five bucks. Then uh, what you do next is you get a, uh, a board. So you're gonna do some drawing. Uh, you know, this mason knife makes a good drawing surface. You'd wanna back it with, uh, with something heavier so it's not as flexible and, and you can put it up however you like. And just tape your drawing to it or clip it to it and you're good to go. So this way you can change it, you can reconfigure it, move the height, you know, get it ready for big paintings, small paintings, whatever. Um, let's go over the, uh, the next method. I'll break this one down. This easel right here is what everyone uses when they make really big paintings, ones that are at least like six feet tall. Um, it's uh, literally a couple of paint cans. You just put them up near the wall, Take your surface, canvas, panel, whatever, lean it up, and you're done. Seriously, everybody that does big work does this. So I don't know anyone that, uh, that doesn't. It's super easy, keeps it off the ground, and uh, it works great. This right here is what uh, tons and tons of abstract and process painters use. Uh, it's just a couple of saw horses, and you put your uh, panel or canvas down on that. Uh, it's great for watercolor painters, anyone that needs a flat surface because they're working with a, with a more liquid medium, 
Um, and uh, it's super cheap, you know, you can make your own sawhorses for about 10 bucks a pop. You can buy them in the hardware store for like 15 to $30. So it's still way cheaper than buying an actual easel, endlessly reconfigurable, and ridiculously sturdy. I'm Mead with AUSquared.com, and we've gone over four easel alternatives today that are all dirt cheap, super effective, and really awesome. Uh, so don't go out and buy an easel. <laughs> That's the theme of today's lesson. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit me up, mead at AUSquared.com with any questions that you have. I'll get back to you uh, as quickly as I can. And uh, uh, I am in process of writing my first drawing book. It's going to be on basic linear perspective, so be sure and watch out for that later. I'll be uh, announcing that here on the YouTube channel and on Reddit whenever uh, it comes out. Thanks a lot.